Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome to the unboxing video for January goods that I gotten for myself. And this time round, it's quite a bit of a mountain, as you can tell in the background. Alright, so let's get down to it because it's gonna take a while. So sit back, relax, and let's see what I got for myself. So let's start off with the tiny packages first. So this one's from uh, CB Japan, as always. So, oh boy. Right, opening up the box, and I should probably have opened it up from the bottom, but that's okay because you know, delivery packages always come with invoices, I suppose. Uh, I need to get rid of this paper, so I'm gonna just stick this out, toss it aside, and make it easier for myself to open the box. All right, there we go. So first thing first, check out the stuffing in the box and pull out the main item. Here we go. And I'm going to cross the box aside because there's just no space in my room. <laughs> Alright, so first thing off. Um, now, a lot of the items here have been gathered throughout the month of January and I probably cannot remember what is this it's inside them anymore because well it's been too long they've been sitting around the house for far too long far far too long <laughs> all right so first thing first we have um, a few comics all right and well if you guys are familiar with Takagi-san's author uh, mangaka artist you probably know the motto hey, wait, hold on. <laughs> wrong side the moto series of takagi san which is basically um, nishikata and takagi san growing up and of course they have their own daughter so if you guys are a fan of the series or, or rather a fan of the artist works um definitely check out this hopefully still waiting for its anime adaptation maybe after takagi san's version of the anime ends then of course the artist also has this one um so it's kuno tsubaki uh no mune no ne uh, so this one um well this is actually now the author's top manga Huh. <laughs> Although the anime adaptation for Takagi san is pretty popular as well, but surprisingly the manga series for this one is doing really really well. Um yeah, I really love the artist's way of you know illustrations. It has a very lively and adorable uh, you know design. So yeah, I definitely have to support the creator. And of course, let's move this along. And we have the latest Manga adaptation of Tenki no Ko. If you guys don't know by now, yes, I'm a big fan of uh, Makoto Shinkai. Uh, even though the manga is not drawn by him, yeah, but still, um, have to support. You no, know, no matter how it's adapted into, um, yeah. So it's volume one of the Tenki no Ko manga series. If you guys are fans of Tenki no Ko, definitely uh, give this a go. All right, so. That's it for the manga from this box. And um, next thing I have is, ooh, we've got the Heya Camp ending soundtrack. Yeah, there is no, there is no opening song for Heya Camp, so it's a sun shower. So this one is, um, I would say, a pre pre order special. So it comes with the photo of the artist itself looking very nice with all the nature in the background and it's also a sign printed photograph so yeah fantastic fantastic stuff so yes if you guys don't know i am now a big yuru Ken, uh maniac <laughs> so this is just one of the collection uh, that's within this pile that's related to yuru camp this is actually for heya camp which is a spin-off series for yuru camp because it only features the members of the outdoor club you know the, the three girls within that high school uh, Rin has not officially joined the club yet hopefully there will be a season two of Yuru Camp looking forward to that all right with that let's move on to the next tiny box which is also by CD Japan because well CD Japan just sells very cheap audio stuff and of course if it's cheap you know that's where I'll be because <laughs> I don't have a lot of money um, so yeah Okay, so with that out of the way, you have another package with more manga and um, a few 
few other CDs because CD Japan, you know, you go there to buy CDs. Although I do buy manga off there because, well, it just happens that I have orders for CDs and their prices for manga aren't exactly very expensive. So why not throw it into the bundle, you know, to save costs on shipping and all this. So, all right, so we have another manga. Yeah, this is pretty old now. Um, this is the regular version of Takagi-san. So this is volume 12. Um, yeah, so if you guys didn't know, most all, all the manga covers for Takagi-san, even the Moto series, are similarly identical in terms of design. So yes, Moto, the Moto covers are like a duplicate of the standard regular Takagi-san mangas. If you guys don't know, I probably can show you guys images here. So we have a regular Takagi-san uh, image. Then of course we have the Moto series cover here. And of course, it, that's how adorable this series is. The manga car is basically a genius in terms of promoting his, you know, mangas <laughs> with the cover art. All right, so with that said, okay, so now in the past, if you guys have been following me, um, I don't know, on Instagram and my own personal accounts, you know that I'm a very big fan of, well, uh, the, the Layton series. Not the main Layton series, but um, the, <laughs> the daughter series, which is Catriel Layton. So yes, I finally have gotten myself a copy of the first a volume of the Blu-ray for the Layton series. I love this anime to bits. I, if if you guys want to check out the Layton series or rather the Daughters series for uh, Catriel Layton, um, I will highly recommend the anime because the anime is so well done. I love the voice actress for Catriel. Um, you know, of course, all the characters within the show itself. Uh, even though, even though the the I would say Catriel Layton was first introduced on the 3DS, um, and her character was voiced by a Japanese actress and an, uh, I guess a British actress. I don't know. The English dub one was horrible. Um, the Japanese dub, the Japanese voice acting wasn't that fantastic as well for the video game. But when the anime came out, oh my goodness, it was a totally different experience. It was light and day. The anime was so well done that it drove me to actually go and play the game again because I wanted more of Catriel and yeah so if you guys have not watched this I would highly recommend you to go and watch this and sadly to say the, the Blu-rays and the DVDs are not sub so if you want sub anime you know where to get them so I'm not going to promote them in that sense because Original content is still the best. <laughs> so, all right, all right. So the only CD that I got from this bundle, uh, other than the Blu-ray, um, was basically Takagi Sun's, um, yeah, radio. So radio CD. So this is actually basically um, um, the, the voice acting crew um, who will do side spin-off. Uh, radio content that is not in the TV series. So if you guys don't understand Japanese, sadly to say this kind of CDs don't really uh, do much benefit to you. So I, I do understand briefly, or rather I do understand Japanese in terms of audio. I, I, I st I'm still able to understand the contents. So that's one of the reasons why I got this as well. And yes, Takagi-san have to support the, the well, the best girl. So, okay, best girl for 2019. Um, yeah, kind of. Uh, 2018, I guess, because season one and season two. Uh, anyway, <laughs> all right, let's move on to the next small box. This one's for Mandarake. So, oops, uh, it's got in personal information there. Mandarake. Um, so, yeah, um, I can't really remember what I got. But I think it's Yuru Camp um, merchandise, so looking forward to opening this up because now I'm a big Yuru Camp nerd. Um, yes, I'm, I'm also watching the live action series. If you guys didn't know, I did reviews on all three um, shows. Um, the, the first season of Yuru Camp, then the spin off Heya Camp, and of course now the live action series of Yuru Camp. Um, so yeah, so the live action series is still ongoing and well, Heya Camp is ongoing as well. So I had to get this. Now there's one thing 
there's one thing of Eurocam that I could not get was basically the Blu-ray collection because apparently it's so popular and it's so expensive now to even find it um, it's just ridiculous Okay, so with the box out of the way, i finally show you guys what I got. So these are actually the um, currently available Nandroids for Eurocamp. Um, so with that said, you can probably understand what I actually got. And there are only three characters at this point of time. The fourth character um, is coming out soon. Um, but all of them, all of them have exclusive merch attached to them uh, if you actually purchase them off um, the uh, Good Smile website so that's kind of a bummer because well I'm a sucker for um, exclusive merchandise so yeah that's kind of a horrible thing for me okay so <laughs> here we go so the first one is um, Shima Rin yeah this is the DX version so this one comes with all her camping stuff so if you take a look at the back yeah there we go we have like a the 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 chair that she uses in the show then of course the the pots and pans and that foldable table then we've got a bit of a camp set so sadly to say the tent is not the real tent it's just like a cardboard cutout <laughs> then we've got the campfire that is pretty cute so you can actually see all the contents here we have a sitting legs there as well so you can have a sit and stand so this is the dx version that is a regular edition of rin um but i just had to get the dx one because it comes with that tiny chat box um sign that says konnichiwa because she's holding the the acorn which which is very ad adorable so every time every time she picks up like a nature item you know like um her the the acorn she uses as a fire starter then it goes konnichiwa that kind of thing so that that's just adorable and of course um yeah it comes with this it is uh the exclusive dx version um item which is probably uh another uh, Oh, it's an LED unit for the fire? Oh, that's pretty cool. So the campfire um, has an LED unit, so that's that's gonna look make it look nice. Then, of course, the next one that I have, um, this one is uh, <laughs> uh, Nadeshiko from Eurocamp as well, as you can tell. Um, yeah, this one actually has an exclusive item, but I don't see it attached to it. Oh, there it is. So it's, it's bundle at the top. So um, the the exclusive item is actually uh, the chat box text that the characters um, will always have when they're using their mobile phones and talking to each other. If you guys have watched the show, you probably know what I'm talking about. So yes, this is Nadeshiko. Yes, and this is the ex... Um, I would say the... the a good small company exclusive version because it comes with this so fantastic stuff so i did order the latest um character of good small as well because i mean considering that i've gotten all of them as the limited edition versions i don't see why i should avoid limited ones for the next few two characters um then there's rin that's coming out with her scooter as well so that's going to be another thing oh my goodness ah during the latest update for wonder fest there was so much you can stuff my money my money is just going out the window so here we have my favorite girl from the anime version um yeah so it's uh Ao, aoi inuyama uh, her family name is very hard to pronounce <laughs> so i just go call her aoi so she she is very adorable because her anime version her voice actress has done a very good job um you know with the um kansai ben um, that she has then um apparently the live action version um the actress i wouldn't say she did a very good job with the character's personality um it's very like you know um light and day acting in terms of the anime and compared to the live action so hmm <laughs> okay so um so this is what you will get from you know this version now of course if you ordered the special edition they will have another extra chat box item so that's pretty adorable so you you fans of the series will probably know this face um, it has become quite a meme for Eurocamp if you have watched the specials on the Blu-rays and all that kind of stuff. So yes, this one comes with another special item. Yes, that's the chat box 
for RE. So fantastic, fantastic stuff. So now I currently have all the um, current available Mandroids for Yurukan characters. Um, hoping to get, you know, the others soon. Soon, eventually, I don't know. It's it's gonna be a while. So <laughs> let's move on to the next box. All right, so the next box belongs to Ami Ami. Um, I am not sponsored by them. So if you guys want to get cheap um, otaku stuff as usual, Go check out Ami Ami. I'm sure you guys are not strangers to this website anymore. Um, ever since the internet has become way easier for, um, you know, purchasing overseas goods and limited editions and all kind of stuff. All right, so let's open this up and dig out the goodies. All right. Oh, oh. Now I recall what's inside here. Oh man, these have been sitting around for so long. Even though the box was kind of huge, I only had three items inside there, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. Now, um, the first thing first, Macross fans, yes, Macross fans once again. Finally, this has come into my hands. Yes, it's the VFG Variable Fighter Girls VF25S Messiah. If you do not, if you guys are not familiar with which Valkyrie this belongs to, this belongs to Osma Lee, Ranka Lee's brother or rather stepbrother. Um, so it is the first Valkyrie that you will see in Macross Frontier because well, Osma Lee is the one that dives in to save Ranka on the streets, uh, and of course, um, you know with. It depends on what version of the series that you watch, the movie version or the TV series. He comes in with the armor pack version, if I'm not wrong. So that's that's pretty cool. And the box is huge compared to the rest of the VFGs. This is big. You can tell from just my palm size, I suppose. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty big. Oh my goodness. The rest of the VFGs are pretty tiny. They, I guess mainly because this one, this one, um, I don't know has more parts than usual so if you guys have not seen this yet um so yeah pretty cool and i'm looking forward to the upcoming one um well um this is by hasegawa right no oh it's by arcs so <laughs> arcs so the company has just released information on um during wonder fest recently if you guys have not been following me on my cross space time the culture uh here's an image of one of the next VFGs, so here, here, <laughs> one of the next VFGs that's to be released, which belongs to Mikels um, and Clan. So yes, we are finally getting a VFG that is actually a character in the Macross series. So Clan Clan will be a VFG girl um, with VF25G, um, which is basically is Mikels. Um, Mikael's Valkyrie, or rather her dead boyfriend's Valkyrie. So, a uh, very sad story. <laughs> spoiler. Oh, no, too late to say spoiler alert. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but anyways, the series is so old now. If you guys have not watched it, it's a crime. Go and watch Macross Frontier. Uh, you'll cry your heart out. And of course, you will fall in love with lots of the characters. All right, so the next thing, yes, it's still a Macross item. Uh, it's the Tamago VF1. <laughs> yeah, a VF1. S. I, I, I know the old school fans can tell the difference between a VF1, S, J and whatever but I can't tell the difference, they all look the same it's just that the Crest logo and whoever's piloting is, is different the rest of the other models are, I mean like the future Macross series you can really tell the difference between all the Valkyries but uh, the first generation is really hard to tell so yes it comes with a mini Min Mei figure as well so you have to paint, I think you have to paint Min Mei Maybe? I don't know. I have not built this because I just got it. <laughs> so yeah, I love the Tamago series. It's just adorable so you can tell. A lot of mini, mini looking egg plane. And of course Min Mei is like the height of the Valkyrie itself. Very adorable. Um, even though I'm not a very, very big fan of the first generation, I, I do love the, 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 the series and the movies, especially Do You Remember Love? Um, yeah, but you know, I am still not a hardcore fan for the Valkyries from this generation. I mean, they look cool um, and they look, I mean, well, looking at this, the, the power pack version, um, or sorry, strike pack, not power pack, strike pack version of the old Valkyries are pretty cool. Um, but aside from that, and probably I think the fold, fold generator was pretty cool as well for Macross Plus. 
and zero i think huh i don't know but still um loving the design of the tamago series um i just i just love tiny cute things so <laughs> okay so aside from that the last item from that that huge army army box was basically this yes it is finally season 2's takagi sun's blu-ray um volume 4 i think there's two more volumes to go before the completion of it because every blu-ray comes with two episodes only so there are 12 episodes in total so i think volume six is the last one so yeah there you go so volume four um of course this one is where they went out and um they had to cook curry so that's why you get this scene and of course we have a bit of a tokyo kakeru sojo feel in the back <laughs> if you guys know what i'm talking about let me know in the comments down below <laughs> so anyway guys let's move on to the next box all right so the next box is another army army one because uh, you know um what can i say army army sells pretty decent um otaku stuff so um the problem why i had to have it two shipments is because well i i'm trying not to hit the um the value where the government will actually tax me because you know i'm i'm importing more goods than buying from local retailers which i mean i should be supporting the local retailers but at the resale value or rather the the up cost in merchandise it just doesn't make me want to support them <laughs> so all right let me dig out all the goods before i show you guys what they are okay so i've got all the goodies dug out and this one has a bit more diversity um it's two different series but you know they are for kids initially so <laughs> all right so let's start off with something that you guys are probably familiar with it by now because you've seen me open december and uh, probably you know that i've been trying to bring back old content to the channel so uh, even though i have probably not uploaded my unboxing of that yet by the time this video goes up but uh, eventually you will see it so yes i have started unboxing pokemon original card games um, once again so this is the latest expansion of the pokemon ocg let me try and get it out of the light oh my goodness yeah so it's the v max uh, rising so booster boxes yes i've got two once again so uh, yeah look forward to an unboxing of this uh, hopefully we get to pull out that um, hyper rare sonia professor sonia's trainer card looking forward to that uh, of course um i don't know um maybe yeah you guys can check out the unboxing videos that will come out eventually after this one um i'll probably start off with i think it was sword pokemon sword packs um first i think so if i re remember how i recorded them accordingly but uh, anyways let's move on to the next merchandise now this one um i had to get it because well i, I if you guys don't know yes i am a pretty cure fan um and well the the new series just started so healing good pretty cure so this one belongs well i i have not actually watched the first two episodes by today i think it's third episode so eventually i will get binge all three and give my review on healing quickio so so this is the 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 official fluff mascot that is in the series so as you can tell if you want to look at the original character design so here we go um what's the character's name though huh okay so apparently they did not put the character's name on this thing oh boy <laughs> so yeah that's the problem when you have not watched the show but i had to order this because um they run out very quickly and i don't want to end up regretting later on so here we go we have the mascot or uh, the animal character you know for the pretty cure series for the latest one and of course we have the main characters so we have cure grace so yes we have plushies made by uh made to look like the characters um you guys don't know what they look like here we have cure grace all right all right so i'm i'm i'm, I'm at the puzzle um this character did not have his name written there 
maybe it did but no um but cure grace has her name on this card so that's kind of a strange thing <laughs> then of course we have um cure fontaine fontaine i i have no idea how to fontaine i don't know how you pronounce this but yeah so this is her very adorable so um i had to get all of them and she's probably gonna be my favorite because she has a penguin mascot <laughs> and yes penguins are my favorite animals so um probably gonna be my favorite cure um until they release the other i don't know maybe one or two more pretty cures that are within the series usually like the later half of every pretty cure series there'll be like one hidden or two hidden pretty cures that's gonna join their team so I don't know since they have three members this time round which is the third member there we go so this one is cure sparkle um she has a squirrel as a companion which she i mean the squirrels is that a cat or a squirrel no cat cat <laughs> the cat has hair look, that looks like um one of the old characters um harry harry the hamster I think <laughs> yeah kind of looks like him you know the hair just the hair so um so she's a neko character um so yeah uh, uh, gotta have the the full set of cure pretty cure heal, healing pre-cure plushies um because these sell out extremely extremely fast so when i saw the orders went up i just had to you know get them and then worry less later on because I, I remember the time when i missed out on getting cure cosmos my favorite character from the previous series the star twinkle pretty cure um i i missed out the order for cure cosmos and i had to go through alternate means just to get the plush for her and boy did that really swallow a lot of money so whew, Oh boy i do not want to go through that again so anyway guys let me chuck this guy uh chuck these girls one corner first um not really chuck but you know place them somewhere safe <laughs> and let me open up the next box okay now i'm i'm surprised that i actually have another box from army army um maybe i've been holding these boxes for too long i seriously cannot remember what is this in this one um i don't even remember that i had three orders from army army for this month holy crap oh, is... oh no <laughs> okay so um i think one of them was supposed to be for february's unboxing but I think it was the pre-cure one, but oh, oh well, what's done is done, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, I, I guess I get to enjoy my merch uh, slightly earlier than intended, so... <laughs> okay, so, there we go. Okay, so I finally got all the goods out, and let's start off with some of the disc that I got from the, well, Ami Ami. So, apparently, I showed you off part four, now I have part five. <laughs> okay, so um, normally these will be released like one month after each other. So I guess that's how delayed I am to unboxing all this. So now this is part five's artwork for the Takagi Sun uh, season two. Yeah, so this is the back. So. Oh well, I'm actually one more away from completing my Blu-ray set for Takagi-san Season 2 and I have Season 1 sitting right in front of me. So uh, aside from Takagi-san, yes, you guys know I'm a big fan of Dr. Stone. So yes, Dr. Stone's fourth Blu-ray is finally here. Um, sadly, I should have probably gotten the Blu-rays off Amazon because Amazon were giving out tapestries for, um, you know, Dr. Stone series and they will give you a special code for it so I kind of regretted you know ordering this one from Ami Ami um, volume 5 and 6 I did get from Amazon so let's see how things goes <laughs> anyways um, yeah so just two more volumes away from completing my full Dr. Stone collection so wow okay um, 
Right now guys, I'm sure you guys have seen quite a bit of my unboxing videos by now and you guys know that I'm starting to collect um, mini Dolphy clothes for Ranka-chan so I haven't really played any of them since I've done my unboxing video. <laughs> oh god, there's so much time I rather so little time, so much to do and oh uh, this but you know school uniform gotta have it classic standard kind of costume that you must have um and yeah looking forward to making Ranka look cute in the future I don't know when but uh, one of these days <laughs> and of course you know Nendroid dolls we have the latest volume for you know if you want to design or create your own Nendroid dolls um, you can do so. So this is the second volume. Now there is a third book that has been recently been announced. Um, so I guess you will probably see the third book sometime in the future. Actually it comes out somewhere within um, February. I have yet to order that. So I might do that together with uh, an Amazon order or something like that. Um, but depending on which site actually sells it cheaper. So yeah. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see the contents of all three books in the future. Um, so far, I've not done it for volume one. Um, so volume two and three together, I guess. Uh, sometime in the future. So that aside, I still have two more things within that gigantic box. Well, I wouldn't call it very gigantic, but it's pretty big. All right. So um, if you guys don't know, yes, I'm an old school otaku. So hands off you got to have these <laughs> so yes the um uh, uh what do i call them now in short form uh doremi series yes the, the maho shoujo doremi um i wouldn't call them maho shoujo they are witches so it's majo doremi i don't know but <laughs> you know so so the other two girls have finally um come around uh, one of them actually got delayed i think I can't remember. I think it was this one. This one got delayed. This production got really, really delayed. Then it came out one month later. So it coincided with her. So I don't know. And then, you know, she gets the baby. That, that cute, adorable baby in there. So um, pretty interesting. So here we go. Hopefully you guys can see it. So yeah, all right. So I guess we're just two characters away now from the full collection for the uh, Doremi, you know, set. So fantastic, fantastic stuff. Loving how each of the girls actually have a broomstick in there. So you can see that the broomstick here, and of course, she also has a broomstick in there. Wait, left, right, left, right, left, right. Ah, the directionals of you know recording on a reverse. <laughs> set up oh this is just horrible all right so i'm gonna go open up the last two boxes yes the last two boxes we are not at the end yet. holy crap so much stuff okay so this box um it's one of those special orders i had to get because this is definitely from yahoo auctions and i i have no idea what i bid for already so let's see what i got because I'm gonna surprise myself. I totally forgot what's inside this thing. And let's see how uh, unique of an item did I actually get. Oh my god, what in the world? Oh, 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 okay. So now this one doesn't really belong to me. <laughs> but I'll show you guys anyway because I, I, I kind of got permission um, from my friend to, to show you guys what um, I actually got for them. Um, so here we go, we're gonna pull this out. Oh boy. So, yeah. Like how they package it in the way that yeah, Amazon Japan does. Uh, so one gigantic set of piece, you know, with the merch to protect it from shaking, you know. Ah, get it out! Oh boy, okay, so I finally got it out. <laughs> oh, 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 there's actually something for me as well. Okay. Ah. Alright, let me remove the items. I got the stuff out and boy, was it packed tight. <laughs> okay, so the first thing first, um, I probably should open this up 
to show you guys but i like to keep it protected for my friend now this one doesn't belong to me so this one is actually the cheryl gnome um goddess figure from the spirit um ichiban kuji figure spirits kuji sorry figure spirits kuji i'm sure you guys can see the design so we have the cheryl gnome uh in the black goddess costume so yes there is a ranka one which i showed off in my last unboxing videos if you guys have not seen that please go and watch that one if you guys are ranka fans this one is for cheryl gnome so um yeah my friend asked me to help her friend to get this so yeah because apparently it was being sold off at anime festival asia last year um but it was really expensive to actually get it from the local retailer so getting it from japan would still be a lot cheaper so i helped my friend get this at only <laughs> 2500 yen <laughs> this is still um now to obtain one of these you have to pay uh, a kuji ticket price of 6500 yen so yes you heard me right i got this only at 2500 yen so it was a really good steal so lucky for my friend <laughs> they got it very cheap so all right so this is the other thing that my friend my 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 personal close friend um this is for nadi and she actually asked me to um, help her get this which is the Ita bag um, so it's a pretty nice Ita bag so hopefully she can pin all her uh, Kaname Buccaneer stuff yes she's a Kaname fan from Macross Delta so very nice Ita bag very clean as well so I try, I'll try not to touch this as much because I think yellow gets dirty very easily so let me just put this aside so she can have it as clean as possible <laughs> then the other thing that I got um her um this was this was kind of like a impulse order from my side um so i i felt bad for her because the shipping for this was horribly expensive um so it's the kaname buccaneer can batch that's from the illumination live um macross event in japan so yeah so i kind of had to chip in with her for the shipping cost because well it's my bad on the part so i paid the majority of the shipping um even though the can batch was like 600 yen but the shipping was woo. okay let's not talk about the shipping anymore so the last item within this whole bundle is actually mine <laughs> and if you guys know this box you guys uh who are collectors of tamashi nation stuff you probably know what is kind of inside um because if you guys are pretty cure fans like me you've seen me do unboxings of another pretty cure figure um this one finally joins in to complete the whole collection um the, this one is from the haguto pre-cure series and with haguto you know which character it is because they are released late compared to the other one that i've unboxed so i'm gonna show you guys what figure it is let me try and shake her out of the box there we go and boom so here we have um well kira amor i i cannot remember her name it's been so long because haguto has been two seasons ago <laughs> now we have healing good and previously it was um star twinkle precure then of course it was the haguto series and oh boy it is this is so long ago i'm loving how the box designs are you can see there's like this shiny layer texture for the figure uh, or rather the character design i don't know whether you can see it yes yeah, it's, it's 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 kind of sparkly yeah the light kind of bounces off the lake there so the words shf figures does have the treatment as well so fantastic fantastic figure um you can take a look at the back of the box if you want to see so both girls will have their signature guitar and i can finally you know display them eventually <laughs> once i've gotten a shelf for my figure <laughs> you know have them together um you know which is fantastic and they have um they have hagutan together so that's pretty adorable sadly to say i cannot show you a clearer image of this ah uh, so yeah guys 
fantastic fantastic SHF figures now the thing is these are actually exclusive to um, Tamash Tamashi Nation's P Bandai store um, and um, it is still possible to get this um, they don't really run out very quickly is the problem is these figures are exclusive to Japanese shipping addresses only so you probably need a third-party shipping to help you bring them in uh, especially if you guys are Macross fans if you want to get those Valkyries the DX Chogokins um, it's pr pretty much the same way so yeah so that's that's another awesome figure for my cabinet in the future <laughs> all right so we are moving on to the last box let me get the stuff out and be done with this video this is a very long unboxing i did not expect a gigantic mountain of stuff this time around but apparently uh there, there is <laughs> i have really no clue what is inside um it even came with a fragile sticker um, so I don't really recall what I ordered that is really really fragile um, the box looks a bit beat up but still not totally destroyed so let me just check out what's inside here and you know see what did I order again because as a lot as as always I I cannot remember for the for the good of me so here we go all right oh uh, oh oh okay so now i wouldn't call this a macross item um because it's not exactly macross related i'm gonna set the box down i'm gonna it's gonna be a lot easier to just dig up the stuff um all right clearing the stuffing Invoices chucked. Oh, oh, wow. Wait, what? Okay, so, um, here's a funny thing. I remember what I ordered, but there's something inside the box that I do not remember ordering might be some kind of promotional item so i'm gonna put what i ordered away first um and we're gonna take a look at what they gave me i don't know it's it's a it's a gigantic bag that looks like a charm so let's take a look what is inside here because i do not know what did i order from this um fella that requires a gigantic box what Oh, really? Wait, what? Oh, 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 I remember now. Okay, so, huh? Did I order this? Or was it actually given to me? I think it's given to me. Oh man! Oh, you got to be joking! I did not order this at all. Huh? Okay, so now, um, if you guys know, I'm a big fan of um, Nishida Nozomi, and she does do radio talk shows with um, the Seaside. Um, I, I don't know I don't know how to put it so okay so the thing is I really wanted this um, and it's a CD it's a, it's basically like a drama CD with Nozomi so this as you can tell here this this has a name on it so it's Nozomi Ru um, yeah it's it's just like a demo disc and it's not for sale so I really wanted this um, but I did not know how to get it so I I I don't know apparently I was given this along with everything else here because um, I ordered some stuff 
from seaside as well so um it's actually it's it's, it's actually like a a company that does talk shows radios with a popular artists or soon to be popular artists so this is a very fun fantastic stuff for me as a nozomiru fan now i really have no idea what's on this on this track though so it's gonna be a surprise for me <laughs> um but i did not expect the rest of the goods here because i don't recognize any of these artists it's kind of sad for, for whoever this girl is um, or these girls are wow there's a lot of them so okay so I just got that big bag and inside the big bag were these so apparently this is a DVD disc of um, the other artists that are within the Seaside Communications uh, lineup and Wow, so this is like really old. This is 2017. I guess they were trying to clear stock, so they gave this blind bag of items inside there. So this is one of the C the, 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 the discs that they actually gave me. I, I, th that's a lot of money that they gave out. So this is another one that is pretty old. This is from 2018. Wow, I have no idea who these artists are, but I am very grateful that they gave these to me so that here's another one you know I have no idea who they are this one's from when wow when is the production date of this there 2018 as well so then there is this one as well they're all from seaside communications so this one's from 2016 this is even older <laughs> Okay, then apparently inside there is this as well, which is a, a hoodie. Holy crap! This must have been expensive. You know, you know, considering that a hoodie normally sells like almost a hundred US dollars in Japan. Why would they give this away? Maybe because it wasn't that popular. I mean, it has a cute mushroom design on it. Can you see that? Yeah. It has the artist name as well. Um, okay, I really have to get my camera. So, Asami Marina Inoue and Asami Shinoda? Sh Shimoda. Oh, wow. Okay, so thank you to Seaside Company for all the free stuff. But I really, really wanted that Nozomi disc though. So, wow, this is really a pleasant surprise. What a way to start <laughs> 2020. Um, well, kind of, I mean, we're, we're already halfway through, not really halfway through, we're in the second month of 2020, but still, it's still at the beginning portion. But wow, am I surprised. So, okay, wonderful, wonderful stuff from this gigantic red bag. Um, woo! Now that was really really unexpected so I'm trying to find space to chuck my goods all right so okay let's get down to the actual main stuff from this humongous s box so this is one of the stuff that I actually ordered um, if you guys know by now I'm a big Rankali fan I'm also a very big Nakajima Megumi fan so yes I had to order her fan club stuff so this is a pretty old Howl. so I don't really have anything for Mamegu in person um, you know I have a lot of Ranka towels but nothing with Mamegu's name on it so I finally have one so I'm gonna open this up to show you guys um, what it is all right so here it is it is the Nakajima Megumi fan club towel so okay so we have here so it says nakajima megumi curiosity of love so fantastic stuff so i probably will be using this in the future if she ever comes to singapore again um, so far she has only been here once so i'm hoping that this time around for an afa event she might come around again so i can make use of this all right so here we go the other stuff that i got these are all Mamegu fan club stuff as well. So, very nice. Eh. Okay, so in the past, in the past, um, 
I did unbox this so I finally got myself a second Nakajima Megumi um, pen light you know um, I have one sitting there somewhere on the cupboard um, so now I have one more to have it for two hands so fantastic stuff and what I got another disc with Nozomiru's Seaside Performance I think this is the one I ordered no this is a special disc so where oh they merged the items together okay let me just go, get, go through the rest of Mamegu stuff first before I proceed with Nozomi so here is Nakajima Megumi's 2020 calendar um, dang it is very very lovely loving the smell as always Mamegu and of course the recent book that she released <laughs> so yes love best of my love Nakajima Megumi love it waiting waiting for this for so long um, can't wait to take a look what's inside here uh, it's a pretty pretty well printed book though um, and it's pretty thick uh, I mean it's it's thin it looks thin but the paper quality you can tell I don't know that because of the plastic you can't really tell but from my view the paper quality is pretty awesome so yeah so this is her 10th anniversary live um, I guess Gravior book so um, Mamegu fans if you are holding back on this you definitely need to get yourself a copy try and find it it is, it is available for shipping within japan only so you, like as always you need a third party shipper to help you send it over to you so it's gonna cost a little bit more expensive but for the love of your favorite girl why not <laughs> so all right let's move on to nozomi because uh, I, I ordered some stuff that's how I got the gigantic red bag I suppose so this is a demo disc I suppose that is not for sale so I guess it came with one of the items that I ordered um, then there is a whole bunch of stickers as well um, for the seaside stuff then there's the name for Nozomiru and then of course there's Kaya Tan which is her partner who does the radio shows for this series then of course we have a clear file which is one of the main reasons why I ordered this thing clear file so there we go and Nozomiru with Kayatan very adorable I think it's a double-sided clear file there's a whole bunch of clear files inside there so so this is actually the main item the main item so it's a brand new book all right so we have Nozomiru and Kayatan looking very adorable very kiawawa <laughs> if you guys know her as Nakajima Megumi eh, no Nakajima Nakajima Makina uh, same family name as Mamegu oh my god it's so confusing sometimes so yes I'm just gonna show you a, a brief sample of the book so here we go very looking looking very kiawa as always you know the bright spunky young Nozomiru um, yeah loving the book oh oh yes <laughs> oh yes <laughs> okay so loving the book yeah look at that wink yeah all right so that's it wow it's a very long video <laughs> very very long video oh boy it's gonna be one hassle of a video to edit so anyway guys thank you guys so much for joining me on this unboxing hopefully you guys had fun and of course uh let me know if you appreciate the content by hitting the like button to this video down below subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future um i'm hoping that february's batch isn't as bad as this one this is this is just monstrous this is this is a whole lot of mess <laughs> <laughs> if only you can see my room right now. Alright. Alright, guys. I will see you guys soon. Bye! <laughs>